What's up guys, today I have the new Elite skins coming this season, plus the charms for Echo and Dokubi, which are going to be two operators that are going to get Elite skins and Elite weapon skins and a charm as well. So I just want to show all of the new releases, so I've gotten a few pictures here of the MP5 SDs, which we'll start with. This is going to be the weapon color scheme of all of these. As you can see, they actually have the attachment skins on this, and um, it's kind of the first look we get to see at attachment skins. Attachments actually have a skin on them possible that this is just a part of the skin but um, with the new release of the attachment skins it's possible that you might need to get the attachment skin and the weapon skin to have it all but who knows at this point keep in mind that these are all in low quality once you, if you have your game settings turned up to high it will look better but for now this is all low quality so moving on to the next gun we have the bearing 9 which is the most used uh, secondary weapon it has a similar color scheme so we're just gonna go through these all because they're all pretty similar for echo and dokubi but Dokubis are a little bit cooler, a little bit more flashy, while Echoes are more modest and uh, probably a smarter move there. Moving on to the Supernova, just follows the same exact scheme. I don't really like this one that much. It's just really dull black. You know, the pistol is what I like a lot. It kind of looks like it has carbon fiber almost in it. It's uh, on the top and then just has the black for the rest of it. So it's just a little bit better than the default skin. And I bet it looks really good on high quality. Really looks like some carbon fiber. Now for the charm, it looks like we're going to get a little ninja looking guy um probably echo i mean a mini echo obviously but i actually like this charm a lot it looks literally just like a ninja so that's cool and if you want to see Echo's actual skin, the leak is now out, which is not really a leak anymore. It's actually just a trailer of the actual operator skin. So you can go ahead and take a look at that if you want to see it. But Dokobi is the one that got leaked, and a lot of people were very, very mad at it. I'll show the Elite animation at the end of this video because I don't want you guys to click off because it is very cringy and a lot of people don't like it. And I would not blame you if you clicked off. But let's go into the weapon skins because I think they're actually kind of cool, and I probably will be rocking some of them. So it starts off with her starting DMR, the MK14 EBR. And it's actually pretty cool. As you can see, I mean, it's a white theme with the black kind of style as the backup. And then it has a lot of purple in it. I like it because it has the operator card inside of the camo, kind of. It's just a big thing over the mag. So I think it looks cool, but I'm excited to see how the charm is gonna look. So moving on to the Boss G, it has the same exact theme, white, purple, with the black dotted style on the top. And then Dokubi calling card with the purple um, glasses and whatever's on the head there. SMG 12, this one's probably my favorite out of all of them. A lot of white, but it just looks really good with the gun and not too much of the calling card there, but it's gonna be on all SMG 12. So you can use this with Warden, Doke, and Vigil just to keep that in mind. And then the last weapon, the C75 Auto, which is on Cali, Doak, and Vigil. It just looks pretty basic white with purple. And I definitely like SMG12 skin over that. They're all very similar though. Now moving on to the Dokubi Charm. This one's not as cool as Echoes in my opinion. It's just pretty basic, pretty bland. It's just of her. There's nothing cool about it, nothing different about it. I think Echoes was a little bit more sleek, but uh, as you can see, we're gonna take a, a hard turn down once you see the skin here. And here is the Dokubi skin. And your first instinct is probably Fortnite, right? That is why everyone's mad because this game or this skin looks a lot like nothing like Siege. And I don't think anyone really wants that. They don't want some unrealistic and kind of corny, more focused for younger audiences type thing when this game is really meant as a tactical shooter for, I would say, mature audiences. So the dancing, uh, we're just going to show the animation trailer and that's how we're going to close this out. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I understand if you click off on the animation trailer, it's not the prettiest sight you've ever seen.